and welcome back to tech stack channel today we'll try to explore one more new topic so let me go to this input file so this is my input file so from this file i want to fetch only the segment column or country column so how we can fetch only specific columns for example i need only the segment and i need the sales price so i want to extract only these two columns data so now how we can do that uh, with the link queries uh, we'll try that so let me take this uh, read range workbook activity okay and i want to update this path so this is my path so updating this path and it have the sheet name as sheet one so let me copy and paste that sheet name and i want to store in some variables let me check any variables are available so it's there so i will make this as excel data table yeah. okay now we want to declare one variable so which i will take as as an activity so and i will make it as temp so now i want to extract only these columns mm -hmm. so for that i have the already query has built it so i am taking that query so let me show you how it will works so let me go back to your part studio and this is a query so query what it had this is my data table and default view two tables after that this is a specific selected columns for example if you want only the one column so you can give this one column so i will show you both the things and rest of the things are query that should be the same so just i am clicking on this ok and downside i will make uh, one message box uh, for checking the data whether data we got or not so let me update as check done now i am closing this excel file and running this bot and you can see data has been added let me show that data so in this excel data table i have the multiple columns and the rows so now what i am trying to do so i want to extract only the specific columns so right now what which column i have given so here i have given the column number one okay let me run it and we can see this here so if you observe here the column one so and we are aware of it so we know the index will start from the zero so that's why we got this country country is the one and similar way i want to fetch one more extra column uh, let me open that excel file so i need the country column as it is and i want to extract one more column month name okay let it be take it as product only so this is the thing uh, both are uh, decides to that so one two so let me open this and i will just edit here so one comma two okay now it will extract the two columns so it base from the one and extract for the two okay we can see here so now we can see this is two columns were extracted so the column one is uh, country and column two is the product uh, criteria i think so where is this yeah product criteria so similar way if you want to extract uh, one more column for example i want to extract some more column which called seventh so just go and keep it here seventh okay now it will extract three columns so it won't follow the any order so you won't fetch anything data it's fine so let me check and now we can see this three columns has been fetched okay if you want to change this order so just go to that same query and replace the uh, numbers so where you want the numbers let me open for example i want to make it this two and one so let me check so the two is the product and one is the my country so if you see here this is the my order so now we'll run this how order will be changed here so now order has been changed so let me go here if you see here product previous it's have the country a later uh, product draw sales now it's changed so like this we can do that now how we get to know how we can extract specific columns with the specific things now one more query is there how we can extract this rows okay let me go and same the thing i'm not changing anything instead of this i will just modify a couple of things 
we can see this row. So this is the for rows. So right now, if I want to fetch only the one row from this enter the one row, so I can fetch this only the one row. So let me run this. So now I'm updating this. So you can see this only the first row of the data has been extracted. Similar way, if you want to do extract it for the second row, third row, so we can go and go and extract. I mean, just go and update it here. Which column you want? I want the column number seven. If you want column number nine, so you can just update it. Now it will show the only the three columns. So actually, we have the some columns like top ten like that now. But this is something different. Which column specific line number? If you want, you can extract that specific line number. So now I'm updating this. So you can see this three columns has been extracted. If you go and check the my input, then it have the same things. So what we given here, 079. So let me go to the Excel file and zero. So zero, zero is a government, seven is a government. Just check, zero is a government. Where is this government? And so the first one is zero. So government Canada. So it has been extracted. And next one, what which column we have given here? So this is the seven. So just counted from here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So channel partners and Canada none. Channel partners Canada none. And eleventh one. So you can see it is the same things. It got extracted. So this is the way how we can do with the link queries. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload.